What's going on guys? Sean Goss here back with another video. Guys, this is the Wish Trimmer Review you guys have all been waiting for. If you guys haven't seen my other Wish videos, go check out the playlist. I got a playlist of all the Wish videos I've done so far. You guys know I got shears on the way, so we will check them out next. But let's get right into this video. Alright guys, so the trimmer video was a lot of fun. The clippers were a little bit more fun. I could do a whole haircut with them, but testing out these trimmers was definitely cool. If you guys didn't see the video of me buying the Wish trimmers, definitely go check it out. But anyway, super fun video. Got to try out four different trimmers from Wish. Some of them were around $10 to $12, some were up closer to $20, uh, but I got some clips of all of them being used, so you guys can check them out. We're gonna start off with the Nova white trimmer. This was a white and carbon fiber trimmer. I believe I've seen it before in the UK being used. It was kind of a rectangle shape, something super different than traditional. And my first complaint about it is the shape itself. It was definitely awkward in the hand, very, very lightweight. Just didn't have much weight to it. And I don't know how you guys feel about this, but a lot of time when I'm using different tools, sometimes I like the weight that they carry. So this being so light, I didn't really care for it. Um, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was trying to film and cut with that trimmer and it was so bad, it would not even cut hair. That I went, I tried to adjust it, turn the camera off, turn it back on, kinda got messed up on recording and not recording and I actually didn't get any clips uh, of me cutting with it. But let me say this, it was super, super, super backed off. So the blade was super far back and literally I would push it against the hair, it would just wiggle the hair, it wouldn't cut at all to be honest. Like that trimmer would not cut at all. Um, so I do have one clip for you though, so I'm gonna hit it real quick. All right guys, no, that's kind of a joke, but uh, I wanted to show me cutting with it and that was gonna be the end result because they were terrible. And like I said, I didn't get all the clips, so that's all we got on the white one. So needless to say guys, don't buy the Nova. I got some other recommendations by the end of this video, but that's definitely not it. All right guys, next up is the VGR trimmer. That was the all black with the snake skin on the front. This trimmer looked promising to begin with, uh, but it had a similar problem as the other one. So when I went to cut with it, again, I was filming, same head, the white one didn't work. I tossed it in the trash, I picked up the black one, started to cut, and it did the same thing. Uh, so actually what happened with that one, along with not saving any of those clips, and again, I apologize, I do have some footage for you guys, I promise. But what happened with that trimmer was it wouldn't hit, so I took the blade apart, uh, and when I took the blade apart, I actually broke it. So that'll tell you right there, pretty bad review. It wouldn't cut, I went to adjust it, and it broke while I was trying to adjust it. So I do have one clip of that trimmer, and we'll look at it right now. All right guys, so had a little fun with those two. I can't say enough about how bad those two were. So I definitely don't recommend them. If you guys want more details on what those trimmers were, definitely go watch that video of me buying them. But anyway, on to the two next trimmers. These actually cut some hair and I got some clips. All right, so for the third trimmer, we're gonna talk about the CHJ, I believe. I said CHU on the first video, somebody wrote me. It's a CHJ, it is a knockoff cordless detailer. Uh, we showed in the first clips, it's much smaller than the actual detailer. Uh, but guys, this trimmer cuts. Unfortunately, again, this stuff's from China. Uh, I had all my chargers over there and I was trying to plug them in. I plugged them into the wrong charger and I fried the cord. So these trimmers, I can't use anymore, but they, they definitely worked pretty decent. So I'm gonna show you guys some clips. <laughs> that they do decent line work. 
Uh, I did not try to adjust these after the other two broke. I really don't have any complaints. They hit similar to my slim lines. I definitely wouldn't necessarily recommend them for a hitter, uh, but you can see they do some line work. They'll balled out pretty decent and got a good finished product out of them. So overall, I'm pretty happy with them. So again, guys, these trimmers were $24 on Wish. There were some other options around that price range. Uh, but they feel good, they feel quality. Uh, and like I said, I can get some haircuts done with them. So for these, I'm not gonna recommend these over the name brand things. They're definitely still more powerful. My skeletons can definitely put a sharper line or my hitters. Uh, but for a wish trimmer for 24 bucks, I can say I could recommend these. All right guys, so for the fourth and final trimmer, you guys already know, it is the pink skeleton. And guys, these things looked absolutely terrible out the box. I'm gonna show you a clip of them. When we pull them out of the box, the blade looks terrible. It definitely didn't look like something I was gonna like. The handle is so much smaller than the blade, and I really wasn't sure what to think about these, but I'm gonna show you guys some clips cutting with them. did pretty well they actually hit pretty good one of the corners was a little high on it so it did get a little bit hot at times and after breaking the other trimmers I didn't want to take it apart and really mess with it you know for fear of, of messing it up so you guys got clips straight out of the box this is what it cuts like uh, but you guys can see it'll ball out pretty nice it does nice sharp lines and it really the design wasn't half bad I think I could definitely use my skeletons to to get that design sharper uh, but it didn't do too bad so I'll give these a thumbs up as well I think they're a decent trimmer um, I would probably try a different one next time I don't really care for the color uh, the handles really small so I maybe would try one of the different ones that looks like it's a little bit bigger uh, and I don't know somebody said the slimline blade will work I put them back to back doesn't look like it'll fit so I don't really have any recommendations on that but if you can get these set right they'll probably be the best out of these four so hope you guys like this video I definitely have more wish videos coming soon like I said before if you haven't seen my other videos head over to the wish playlist on my channel and check them out I think you guys will enjoy them the clippers were super fun to do and if you guys haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe I got plenty more content like this coming give me a thumbs up if you like this video drop a comment tell me what you think ask any questions you got and I'll catch you guys next time